UFC 297 is this weekend in Canada. As I stated before, this is one of the worst main cards I've seen the UFC put together in quite some time. But it does have a really good main event between Drakus Duplessis and Sean Strickland for the 185 strap. I'm going to go over in this video why I think Drakus Duplessis will beat Sean Strickland this weekend and why he will become the new middleweight champion. There are two real reasons why I think Drakus Duplessis wins this fight. First is his awkwardness. He doesn't fight traditionally in any manner. He has a style all his own. If you watch that Robert Whitaker fight, he picked him apart from the beginning of the fight until he finished him. This fight for Duplessis really put a lot of people on notice of his skill set. And he hurt Robert Whitaker with jabs. And he didn't really even hit him with big, big shots because he's got a ton of power. And another thing that I think Drakus Duplassi does really well from that southpaw stance is he, he uses chain wrestling. Sean Strickland hasn't fought a ton of wrestlers in the UFC, the last probably being like Jack Hermanson. But Jack Hermanson was either wrestling or he was just striking with him. He wasn't striking and using that to get to the takedown. He was kind of just like lazily going in for the shot, or he was just standing in the middle of the ring and kind of just exchanging with Sean Strickland. And if you want to get in a kickboxing or a boxing fight with Sean Strickland, Duplassi will lose this fight. He's got to use his awkwardness. He has a really good left hook, and use that left hook and the threat of that power to get in for his double legs. Jack Hermanson was trying to get single legs on Sean Strickland, and that didn't work at all whatsoever. Duplassi has to use his strength and work for double legs, I think, to win this fight. I think his awkwardness and fighting out of that southpaw stance is going to give Sean Strickland a little bit of trouble. I think Sean had so much success against Israel Adesanya. It's because Izzy just got in a basic kickboxing fight with him. There was no threat of takedowns. Even the kicks he was throwing were very telegraphed. Israel Adesanya might have found his match in Sean Strickland's style. They say styles make fights, and I think this is a style matchup for Sean Strickland that could potentially give him the most trouble in this division. A lot of these guys think they can just like stand with Sean Strickland because he kind of marches straight forward, and they get like mesmerized by his ability to block punches, and then they kind of get like they lose their confidence a little bit. And then you, you saw that in the Israel Adesanya fight. Going into that fourth and fifth round, Israel Adesanya just looked like defeated. He was like, I can't figure this puzzle out. And he didn't have any options. Drakus Duplassi has a lot more ways to win the fight. He throws a lot of spinning attacks, especially spinning elbows. He likes to shoot for takedowns. And he throws a lot of hooks and leg kicks, body kicks. He really mixes up the wrestling with the kickboxing. He's not just a kickboxer like Israel Adesanya. Drakus Duplassi is not your traditional kickboxer or boxer type. He really is a true mixed martial artist. He uses all these different avenues to get success. And that's why Israel Adesanya kind of got picked apart because he was just kind of like throwing one twos with a leg kick, one two threes with a leg kick, leg kick one two. He wasn't really like giving Sean Strickland any different looks. He wasn't level changing at all whatsoever. And Drikus Duplessis has a lot of power. And we have seen Sean Strickland get clipped in the past. When he gets clipped, he gets clipped hard because he kind of walks straight forward. And if you kind of want to like throw punches straight down the pipe, right down the middle, Sean Strickland's just going to be able to use that Philly shell style and kind of block those punches and stay out of range. Drikus Duplessis kind of throws like lunging hooks, big uppercuts, spinning attacks. And I think that's going to be a lot more difficult for Sean Strickland to handle than guys like Israel Adesanya. I think Drikus is a much harder matchup stylistically than Israel Adesanya. And that's why I think Drakus Duplassi wins this fight. I think he's going to use that dirty boxing. He's going to use those spinning attacks. He's going to use his wrestling to just mix it up and win a decision over Sean Strickland, like 49-47. Let me know in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this fight? Sean Strickland has definitely fought the tougher competition. That goes without saying. But I thought the same thing when Robert Whitaker was taking on Duplassi. I was like, Whitaker has fought all these good guys. He's going to walk right through them. And Drakus Duplassi shredded Robert Whit Whitaker. I mean, Israel Adesanya beat the shit out of Whitaker. But like, it kind of took a little while to figure him out. 
But in this fight, Drukas Duplassi just systematically... And, like, one thing that's underrated about Duplassi is his ability to block punches. He's kind of, like, got this hoppy, awkward, weird style. But if you watch that Whitaker fight, man, he's really smooth with protecting himself with his arms, man. He's really good at blocking punches and staying in good athletic positions to get those takedowns. And that's why I think Duplassi wins this fight. Leave me some comments down below. Do you think Sean Strickland's got this? Or is Duplassi going to kind of, I think it really be an upset over Sean Strickland because he's fought the better competition. He's got better wins in the UFC. We'll see what happens. Let me know in the comments below. Peace.